Go ahead and bring our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry into this discussion. We have been watching Milton really just continue to power up. Betty, it's been impressive what it's doing right now, and the winds haven't caught up to the organization of this, but really all systems go for this to become a mighty hurricane tomorrow. Take a look at the uh, latest information that Betty just showed. This is nearing a category uh, two hurricane, winds of 90 miles per hour. Moving east at seven, we actually, Betty, saw a little bit of a nudge to the south in the track earlier today. That was a little bit of a surprise. I'll talk about that in just a minute, but it uh, it has led to a hurricane watch and a tropical storm warning for parts of the Yucatan. Category four hurricane over the next few days. Notice the winds though coming down as it gets closer to the coast, but it's going to be too little too late. This is going to be a big, powerful hurricane as it goes, uh, moves into the coast, the west coast of Florida. Uh, as you look at the satellite picture tonight, it's hard to see because this is a very compact hurricane. This is uh, really uh, sort of tightly spun together, and that's going to help it uh, strengthen very quickly. All of that rain well ahead of Milton, not even associated with it. It's another, it's another area of low pressure from the tropical moisture ahead of it, uh, but thankfully so far, We've at least weathered uh, that rain, but we're getting more rounds of it tomorrow, as Betty was talking about. The warmest waters that we have in the Gulf of Mexico, it's sitting over right now. So it is in a, a pristine environment for strengthening right now. You can see the forecast models uh, taking this uh, generally in the same direction here toward uh, the west coast of Florida. The models uh, kind of in a, actually pretty good agreement in terms of this coming in sometime, somewhere between say Crystal River to the north and Fort Myers, Naples to the south. Anywhere fair game for the most destructive part of this hurricane. Us here in southeast Florida, we won't have to worry about the major impacts from this. Just the heavy rain uh, that could lead to, you know, obviously some flooding in our area. But we're going to escape the heavy winds. We're going to escape certainly the storm surge, the biggest storm surge from this. Uh, but the models kind of differing, Betty, right now on when this comes ashore. We've actually seen them kind of uh, scale back a little bit uh, in taking this ashore later in the day or even the evening or overnight hours on Wednesday. So a little bit of uh, uh, timing here to work out with this, but we have very high confidence that this is going to bring a catastrophic storm surge uh, to parts of uh, the west coast of Florida. Anywhere from, uh, to say, Cedar Key southward to uh, Naples could see the bulk of this. It's going to, in terms of the storm surge, JC and Sanella, the worst of it is going to be just south of where this comes ashore. So really the track is very important here. But as I mentioned, even though the winds may be coming down a little bit as this gets to the coast, the hurricane center is saying it could be a much bigger hurricane and that can bring a bigger storm surge. So a lot of these areas, unfortunately, still have debris and cleanup going on from Helene with another big hurricane here coming in the, in the next few days. Becca